The Bosporus is where two continents meet. And it's also where Kamal and Sabina met for the second time. 26 years ago, they fell in love in Dusseldorf. But they were separated when Kamal's parents sent him back to Turkey to marry another woman, chosen by his father. I told him, I want to see her first. But he said, no, we've already seen her, you can't see her before the wedding. He smashed his fist on the table and said, you have to do what I want. I didn't want to, but it happened. Six, seven months later, I realized I was married. Kamal was forced to obey his father, but he never forgot his first love back in Germany. He and Sabina tried to stay in touch, to no avail, but last year they found each other again. I tracked him down via the internet with a search engine. It took many months, but finally I found him. A few kilometers down the road, in a poor suburb of Istanbul, this is where Engin and Chilein Unuk live with their daughter, Damlanur. Egin's mother and another relative are visiting. His father arranged the marriage two years ago. I had no idea. I came home for a visit and suddenly my father said, we're going to ask for the girl's hand in marriage. I said, all right, but I felt frozen inside. I think you do a better job with this in the West. People get to know each other first. My father said they were coming to ask for my hand in marriage and asked me what I thought. I told him it's up to you, but I wondered what he would be like. He was a stranger to me. The wedding ceremony in a village near the southeastern border lasted two days and two nights. In this region, arranged marriages are still the norm. The family elders reach an agreement and the children obey. For Engin's mother, it's a tradition that has withstood the test of time. After military service, we wanted our three sons to marry. We made the decision so they could lead a proper life. They would have to assume responsibility and understand the value of family. People who don't understand the value of family will never make anything of themselves. I asked around and asked the neighbours about the girl, about her character and her family. Everything I heard was good. So we chose her. If I had said no to the head of the family, that would have been a sign of disrespect. Something like that would be impossible. Today I'm very happy with my wife. But I still sometimes think it would have been better if we'd gotten to know each other in a different way. The tradition of absolute obedience to the head of the family has loosened somewhat in the past 20 years here, sociologists say. One sign of this change is the sharp increase in divorces. But for many here, the importance of family is as strong as ever. The importance of family is fundamental, even for people who were raised with an open and democratic parenting style. The family is seen as a safe haven in times of trouble, for example, when there are financial difficulties or unemployment. Kamal was never happy in the marriage arranged by his father, and finally he divorced his wife. In early December, he married Sabina in Turkey. Now the couple are looking forward to a new life together. But first, they have to pay a visit to the German consulate in Istanbul. He has to come to Germany so we can finally be together again and be happy together. For that, he needs a visa. But for Kamal's father, the marriage was an act of disobedience. For Kamal, his newfound happiness has also meant a break with his family.